Now today we will talk on the anterior triangle of a neck. diagram that what you get when you will be studying any triangles. So this will be the term of the mass for muscle which divides already here into a two triangles. One is what anterior triangle is. This. this is what the posterior triangle. So this one must be that. This is what the hyoid bone, which will be there like this way. Here you can get. This is what is said to be as a thyroid cartilage. This is the chin. This is the suprasternal notch. And this will be becoming as a sternum. Anterior triangle has got apex. This is the apex. Now this will be the what? Base. And it has got the posterior border. Posterior border. And it has got the anterior border. So you have to deal. Now you have to deal about the that of the entire you can say the apex. Apex of the water that of the where you can say anterior triangle of a neck. It is directing downwards and towards the medial formed by the water that of the union of union of the anterior fibers of or anterior border of sternum medomestoid as well as the anterior border of the water that of the where you can say the line drawn from chin to the suprasternal notch union where it occurs that is called as apex that is called as an apex of the anterior hand now the base Base is the one of the one which will be directing upwards and uh, this where you can say base which is directing upwards it is not straight way upwards and little bit it is lateral it is formed by the water lower border of the body of the mandible body of the mandible mandible and the line from the water that of the angle of the mandible to the water mesoid process as well as the water that of the supramethoid crust this is the base now you have got the water posterior border this is the posterior border now this posterior border of the anterior triangle is formed by the, isn't formed by the anterior 
fibers of anterior fibers of sternocleidal mastoideus sorry dears but this is what is said to be as well nothing but the posterior border of anterior triangle anterior triangle this is the posterior now the anterior border of the anterior triangle of a neck anterior triangle of a neck triangle of a neck is formed by the water line joining the symphysis mantle to the water that of the suprasternal notch so this is called the anterior border of anterior triangle of neck it is an imaginary now you have got the roof the roof of the water that is anterior triangle it is formed by skin will be there the sf will be there then the water platysma platysma and the water depressure of the neck called as the cervical fascia cutaneous nerves and the cutaneous vessels that includes arteries veins and the water lymph vessels lymph vessels so this is what is said to be as the roof of the anterior triangle of the neck now coming to the floor floor of the anterior triangle of the neck when you come across you will be going to have the what first and foremost that is what is said to be as a tracheal fascia pre tracheal fascia then the muscles are there now those muscles you will be going to get what is said to be as one is a thyrohyoidus muscle thyro hyoidus muscle and hyoglossus muscle hyoglossus muscle then inferior and middle constrictor constrictor muscles of pharynx now these all are there at this point so this is called as thyrohyoid this is the thyrohyoid this is thyrohyoid and then you have got a hyoglossus hyoglossus then you have got the this is the middle constrictor muscle of pharynx now this is the inferior constrictor muscles of pharynx apart from that you will be having the other muscles now those muscles are this is what is the myohyoid tears hyoid tears and then you have got definitely hyoglossus hyoglossus apart from that you will be going to get the water
which will be entirely it will be occupied and even the part of the water that of the where you can say superior constitutive muscles of the pharynx they will be also going to come into the picture but majority inferior and the middle constrictor which are there broad they will be going to get occur into that then you will be going to get the water other things now other things are what what is the content of this anterior triangle of the neck anterior triangle of the neck neck contains all the content of content of anterior triangle of neck in that number 1 you will be having a muscular triangle muscular triangle so muscular triangle is a one so this will be the what superior concept superior belly of superior belly of homoideus this one then this will be yesterday already you have talked this is what the inferior belly nothing to do with today's topic so what you will be going to get this is the first known as the water muscular triangle second you will be having what is said to be as the carotid triangle now carotid triangle is the water that of the triangle is the triangle the one which will be having so this is so this muscle and this muscle this muscle is said to be as posterior belly of belly of diastasis this will be the anterior belly of so like this now you have got the second triangle now that second triangle i have to mention here this is what the carotid triangle which is present in the anterior triangle then you have got in between the what posterior belly of the digastricus tylohyoideus and the anterior belly of the digastricus so this muscle this triangle rather the space which will be there that is called as digastric gastric triangle this is maybe also called as an inter muscular triangle or it may be said to be as again another name sub mandibular triangle this is you can say carotid triangle another name for that it may be said to be as a water that of the supra supra superior belly of homohyoidal triangle then you have got this thing here this thing what you can get it here this is a hyoid joint so this muscle will be there like this it will be reaching to this so entire hyoid so this fourth 
is called as sub mental triangle or supra hyoidal triangle supra hyoidal triangle another name now out of these are the content Content of the water that is the anterior triangle of a neck are muscular triangle and its content, carotid triangle and its content, diastatic triangle and its content, sub mental triangle or supra hyoidal triangle and its content. So these are the content of the anterior triangle of the neck. Now after knowing this. You have to go to the water first. This triangle. Now, what is the muscular triangle? Muscular triangle is the triangle present in the anterior triangle of the neck at the lateral aspect of the cervical region. Now, this triangle. It has got the word of X. It has got the of X, and it has got the base. Now the base of the what muscular triangle, which is one of the content of that of the anterior triangle, is the one the one which will be directing forwards and towards medially, and it is formed by the lower two third of the line joining this impetus ventricle to the what that of the suprasternal notch. That is nothing but anterior median plate. Median plate. So this is what the base. Now what where is the apex? This is what the apex of the muscular triangle. The apex of the muscular triangle is the one and the one which will be directing you can say backwards and towards laterally. This is formed by the union of union of. The superior belly of the homo erectus, where it meets the anterior fibers of the what that of the sternocleidomastoid, especially lower one third. So lower one third of the what that of the sternocleidomastoid is of clavicular head intersects with the what that of the superior belly of the homo erectus. That is called as what apex of the muscular triangle. The muscular triangle we have got the what now this. This is called as upper behind limit or the border. This is formed by the lower front fibers of lower front fibers of the what the superior belly of the Homo hyoid DS. Why front and back and front? This is the below and front or below and back limit is formed by this is what in front and below behind and below limit or the border. Behind and below, rather inferior and front border, intermedial border of the border. That of the your you can say muscular triangle is formed by lower borders of or lower part of. Clavicular head of the water, that of the sternocleidomastoid of its one third. So this will be the thing here. Now what you will be going to have the roof for this? The roof of the water, that of the where you can say, see, it has got the apex, it has got the base, it has got the two borders. Now those two borders are the water, upper posterior border. Then you have got the lower lower behind or the posterior border. Then you have got the roof. Then you have got the floor. The roof of the water that of the 
muscular triangle is formed by skin, uh, superficial fascia, deep fascia, platysma, cutaneous nerves, uh, cutaneous vessels, uh, arteries, veins, lymph vessels, fat, areolar tissues. So this will be the roof. The roof may be such to be as a superficial lane. Superficially, the general thing of Now deeply, that may be said to be as a water flow. The flow of the water, that of the muscular triangle, it is nothing but only the muscles are there. Now those muscles, those muscles, trees, you will be going to get. Those are the nothing but what we can say, rather, they are the, not the flow exactly, but they are the water flow forming in gradients of the water muscular triangle. Tracheal fascia and the three tracheal fascia, these are the flow. Then you will be going to get the water that of the content. Content of the water that of the muscular triangle. They are the water sternum, sternum, thyroidius. Hyoidus. These two muscles are present in the water that of the muscular triangle. Hence, the name for that this triangle, which is present in the anterior triangle of the neck, present between the water that of the where you can say inferior belly of the omohyoid and the clavicular fibers of that of the sternocleidom is destroyed by its lower anterior fibers of sternocleidom as well. So this is content. Hence the name has been given. So this is about the one. Then uh, you will be going to get the another triangle. We will go. Another triangle is nothing but it is what is said to be as the you where you can say carotid triangle. Carotid triangle. Now the carotid triangle when you come across you will be going to get the water that of the you have to tell it here now, the carotid triangle. The carotid triangle is a triangle present in the water that of the you can say anterior triangle of a neck at the lateral aspect of the cervical region. Now this carotid triangle above the hand, above, this is what above. This is above. And in front, Lifted by the water, this lowers behind or a posterior fibers of posterior belly of belly of digastricus and lower posterior fibers of fibers of stylohyoidus stylohyoidus this is what here you can say upper front boundary upper front boundary is formed by these upper front this carotid triangle. Then lower, this is the one border. Then another border lowers anterior boundary or a border is formed by upper fibers of upper fibers of Superior belly of homohyoidus. 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 So this. Then the base. Base of this triangle, carotid triangle, is formed by is formed by upper two third of upper two third of anterior. 
clear border or fibers of sternocleidomastoideus. So this is the base. So this will be the apex. Now the apex is the one, the one which will be directing, the one which will be directing forwards and towards medially. It is formed by the union of union of the upper front boundary formed by the what two muscles posterior belly of the what oh my God, posterior belly of the digastricus and the water that of the stylohyoidus. By their lower posterior fibers to that of the superior border of the superior belly of the homohyoides. So, this is what the apex. Now, what you will be going to have for this? For this, you will be going to get for the carotid triangle, you have got the roof. You have got the Roof. roof is also said to be as superficially. Superficially it is related to skin, uh, superficial fascia, trifascia, cutaneous nerves, cutaneous vessels, and the platysma. And the little amount of the water that of the areola tissue and the fat. So this will be. Now you have got the floor. Floor of the water, that of the carotid triangle, it is formed by mainly thyrohyoidus thyrohyoidus muscle and hyoglossus muscle. Apart from that, you will be having seventh external carotid artery and its branches, superior thyroidal artery, lingual artery, facial artery, then you will be going to get the water ascending. 
ਸਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਫੈਰਿੰਗੀਅਲ ਆਰਚਿਲ ਦੈਨ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਆਸਿਕਟਲ ਆਰਚਿਲ ਆਸਿਕਟਲ ਆਰਚਿਲ not only with this you will be going to get its corresponding wings superior pterygoidal vein lingual vein facial vein and the ascending pharyngeal vein and the occipital vein sometimes then the lymph vessels and the nodes corresponding so these will be there then eight internal carotid artery internal carotid artery apart from all this you have got one more ninth contact so that will be the twelfth cranial no called as a hypoglossus hypoglossus with having all this you have got 10th fat will be there the 11th will be there area of tissue area of tissue now lymph vessels are already there they are there otherwise you can have a 12th lymph vessels and the nodes present internal external jugular group of lymph nodes sternocleidomastoid group of lymph nodes all these are the things present in the carotid triangle carotid triangle so this is the content of carotid sheet muscular triangle content already it has been finished content so this will be the content of muscular triangle has been already left off so with this leaving third and fourth third and fourth i will be going to take in the water that of them tomorrow's topic till then goodbye